This hair is an absolute mess. Hello everyone, welcome back to another POV street photography video here in London. So today's gonna to be a bit different because usually I go out with primes. Today I've got something a little bit more bulky than the prime. I've got the 50 to 140 f 2.8. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you have questions, let me know down below. And that's it. Enjoy it. Have a good day and see you soon. Bye. And what a beautiful, beautiful day springs definitely here. So for this video, I am gonna start here in Chinatown and then progress throughout Trafalgar Square, the West End, and hopefully end up closer to the river, having such a long lens being somewhere a little bit more open, like by the river, will definitely, in my opinion, yield some very nice results. However, on the other hand, being somewhere a little bit closed off, like here in Chinatown, is also proving to be nice because I can get some really interesting close-ups that otherwise I wouldn't get. Now, obviously these photos will not win any awards. However, it's odd little bits of detail here and there, which when combined with all the other images in this photo walk, I think create for a very nice collection. What do you think of a little GoPro and sort of camera setup and using this to do the B-roll? I think it works. I look really weird right now, but I think it works. This was a very typical scenario of me fishing for a photo. Great light, great architecture, nice composition, but honestly, no one would come. I waited for ages and in the end, it just wasn't worth it. So I got a couple of pigeons and buggered off.
Obviously, there are some downsides to using this lens. First and foremost, it is massive, it weighs a ton, and you will stick out like a sore thumb. It's just part of the package, I guess. However, on the other hand, the optical quality of this lens is incredible. I did actually do a review on it before, so do check that out. But from a focal length point of view, you can get some images that you physically can't get with anything sort of wider than that. And you do get a completely different perspective on the everyday things, like the guy playing the music earlier on. On the matter of sticking out like a sore thumb, it's something that you're gonna have to just completely own and realize that whenever you're out taking pictures with this, everyone will look at you. And to be honest with you, I almost think that's a good thing as well, because then everyone's aware that you're a photographer taking photos and you don't have to try and blend in. You can just get on with the job of getting the pictures and bugger off. Oh, and just to add to that, I think in this day and age, people are more than aware of photography being a big hobby for millions of people around the world. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure that over the lockdown period and over COVID, more and more people got into photography because it's a very easy way to go for a walk and do something other than walking. So I certainly think that nowhere near as many people will pay attention to you when you're out taking photos because everyone's just used to it by now. So as you can see, the light on Fleet Street was absolutely incredible. You would think that I would walk away with a bunch of images and the fact of the matter, I've got absolutely zero that I'm happy with. I did take some photos, but to be honest with you, they were all a little bit dead. And this goes to show that a good scene, good light, a good location does not necessarily mean a good photo. It's not to say that you can't take a good photo. I'm pretty sure that on a different day, a different person or a different lens could have yielded a better result. However, it's just one of those. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you're not. Either way, it's a nice walk on a nice day. So that is it, the day is finished. I reckon I've got two or three good images from today, especially the guy with the saxophone. I think it was a saxophone, I'm pretty sure it was. So hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you liked some of the pictures. And yeah, um, tune in next time. As you can probably tell, I am absolutely knackered. Um, can't really even think of anything. All I can think of is a cup of tea, put my feet up and just chill out. So. Thanks as always for watching, um, if you're new here please do consider subscribing and if you like this video please do give it a like and obviously your feedback in the comments is always greatly appreciated. Thanks everyone, see you in a bit, bye.